And we are back here at Shamrock Fighting Championships as coming up next, it's Ian Houston. He will be taking on Richard Jones. This is a kickboxing bout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Richard Jones. Coming to us by way of St. Louis, Missouri, it is Richard Jones. Now, Jones at 40 years old has had some pretty big experience in the world of combat sports. He has worked the likes of MMA. He has worked the likes of boxing. And tonight he is now going into the world of kickboxing. But he has a tough test ahead of him in Ian Houston from the church. Now, he does feel though that his veteran status here of having those rounds will help out. Time in the cage is very important. 100%, you know, it's good to get those, you know, get the experience and the rounds in the gym, but it's there's nothing compared to when you do it live in front of a crowd. And like we know about Richard Jones, he's always exciting. This is gonna be a very fun matchup. And his opponent, Ian Houston. Almost half his opponent's age at 21 years old, Ian Houston makes the walk, sporting a 1-0 record in the world of kickboxing. Now, his last outing, Adam, it was one of the craziest fights. He looked like he was mad at the world for the entire fight. As we take a look here at our supplement superstore's tale of the tape, Ian Houston, 21 years old, 5'9", 140 pounds. Richard Jones, 40 years old, 5'4", 136.2 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a kickboxing bout, and it's set for three rounds in the Shamrock FC 140 pound division. Introducing first on my right, fighting tonight out of the FM Roofing Blue Corner. This competitor stands five feet, four inches tall. Official weight, 136.2 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Richard Jones. And his opponent across the cage fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighed in at an even 140 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Ian Houston. Referee Josh Stewart has the call for this contest. Ian Houston in the red tape, Richard Jones in the blue. One thing we know about the church, they always come to fight. And they always come forward. No touch of the gloves. Wow. Houston just starts out hefty. Nothing but pressure coming forward, throwing bombs. Houston He's laying them out. Here comes Jones right back. Oh! You know, the church, they have a lot of hard rounds in the gym. And you know, it's like that saying, you fight like you practice. And these and guys they fight, fight hard. They fight Absolutely. hard. Houston is just throwing bombs. Oh, big, big knee. Body. He is just overwhelming Jones, is Jones right now. Oh, nice body shots. Jones tried to tried to have a counter, but you know, Ian was not having any of that. Houston coming in now, trying to find a home for that jab, trying to set some distance. You know, the question is, will Ian be able to maintain that pace? He's coming out nice and hard. He's throwing heavy shots. I like the way he's mixing it up, going to the body, going to the head, followed up with a kick there. But the question- Oh, big shot there by Jones. You know, when you weather that storm- Oh, huge head kick. Oh! These guys are getting after it right now. This is very exciting. Oh! Big shot. That hook found a home. I think that's it. Ooh. He made it to nine, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it was close. It was close. Will Houston capitalize on this? Straight jab down the pipe. Now Jones answering back again. Good control of his weapons there. You know, I got to imagine that Jones is, is feeling a little fatigued. You know, it's trial by fire, that's for sure. 10 seconds remaining here in the first round. Will Jones survive it? Big knee. Big knee. Oh, gosh. 
These guys are throwing wow. bombs. That was about as exciting as you can get. As I said before in the opening, Ian Houston in his last outing fights like he's angry. Yeah, he does. He comes out with a vengeance, like he like he stole his bike or something. He's, <laughs> he's he wants to he wants to make you pay. Let's take a look here at our instant replay. Big jab there out of Houston again. Ian doing a good like job countering as Jones comes forward. He really is, and with these only being two minute rounds, you really have to throw the action in there. Yeah, not a lot of time for a filling out process. Three two minute rounds, you gotta get in there and get to work fast. Oh, wait a minute. Referee Josh Stewart is waving it off. Richard Jones is not able to answer the, the bell. Looks like uh, Jones hurt his shoulder in that exchange. You know, when, it, when you're moving fast, yes. everything's happening crazy. Uh, you know, the, the cage also plays a role into that. You know, maybe he fell into the cage. Who knows what happened? Maybe he has some prior, you know, some, injury coming some in. prior yeah. injury coming into this situation. Who knows what happened? But he's definitely in a lot of pain in his shoulder. And uh, as a result, wasn't able to, to answer the bell. Fighter safety is of the utmost importance here at Shamrock Fighting Championships. Referee Josh Stewart waves off the action. Ian Houston quickly in his young career at only 21 years old, jumps to 2-0 in the world of kickboxing. Man, this kid has a bright future. He is exciting. You know, some fighters that come out there, try to fill it out. No, not Ian. He wants to get down there and he wants to get to business right away. There is no feeling out period whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, after round number one has completed, your blue corner fighter is not answering the bell for round number two. That declares your winner by TKO, Ian Houston. I'm very excited to see Ian fight again. A beautiful win there for Ian Houston, making it to 2-0. They said the church always throws down, and boy, did they do that. But we have got more action to come. As coming up next, we are going to jump into the world of mixed martial arts, and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.